Hello everybody, it's the Gaming Dad here and we are continuing Saints Row Cat Out to Hell 100% walkthrough and achievement guide. In this video we're going to be doing the challenge Convert Marshalling Grounds and Dane will say convert each of the marshalling grounds to show Satan who's really in charge. There's five and it gives us Tower Secret Chamber access which is our last seven deadly sin which we'll be doing that in video probably after this one. Anyway, we are going to select that and on the map there are five of these and this is the first one and the difficulty is easy. So all we need to do is jump in and Dane's going to show us what the deal is. Alright, you found one of the marshalling grounds. Satan uses these things to arm and send off armies to crush his enemies. If you convert all the control stones, we should be able to use them to get around hell even faster. Predictably, there's a terrifying archdemon protecting the marshalling ground, so it's gonna be a fight. Don't worry, though. Well, maybe you should worry. It's a scary fucking demon, but whatever. You'll figure it out. Are you gonna show up or what? So, we need to find the control stones, which the triangles are telling us they're higher. You don't have to kill very much enemies, you can just go up to these and hold them. However, you do need to kill the enemies around it because if they shoot you, it will, like the spires, stop you from actually continuing on. So there is that as well. Sometimes a good stomp is good to kill stuff out. Marshall can be annoying at times just because stuff like this is happening. Anyway, there's the first one. So once that's completed, the Archduke's going to spawn. So if you need the achievement for killing him with a melee or just killing some Archdukes, here you go. They're not that scary. We're going to jump down and join you. If you're not jumping up to join us. And we're just going to shoot you. And there we go. That's pretty much it. Not very difficult at all. Devil better step up his game. Now we just need to take over grounds. And there we go, that's one of five. So for complete needs we actually get access to the portal, which I'm not going to lie, is a really good thing to have because it just saves on time, you know, from teleporting. But the reason I didn't go for it first is because we need to do 20 hours in this game anyway. So we're just taking our time, basically. Anyway, we're not really going to need to cut to the next one because while I'm talking, we're flying there anyway. But I'm just going to show you in the map if you decided to skip my lovely voice. Anyway, the next one is the Barrens area, which is here. Also, we got an upgrade in the activities, and that is just the Marshalling Grounds Forge. So it says that we can use the teleporter, and so on and so on. And as we see on the map, that yellow thing is our portal. Anyway, we're going to jump to the next one. Well, now come out wherever you are. So we see here is the next destination we need to do. So as I'm saying about when you get attacked and stuff, it stops you from doing these things. I think it depends on the bullet. If it's like a rocket launcher or something that would stun you, then obviously that will stop you. But stuff like normal bullets, because the flying guys were using SMGs, it wasn't really annoying us. Anyway, same again. We're going to jump down. We're there, which is great. We're just standing there chilling. Go. I really wish we could skip that animation. We've seen it about 40 odd times. Anyway, we're going to take over ground like usual. And we have completed that 2 out of 5. So we're going to activate the teleport. I'm going to show you here. Uh, there's one in each area and there's one also in the tower. 
And we're just going to use teleport and it'll teleport us over. It was really quick loading, but I don't know if that's the Series X. Let's anyway, I'm going to skip to the next one. The third one is here, and that is in the den area. And we've also got another upgrade, which is just telling us about the portals. This place is closing. This one has an additional button or stone to control. But that's not going to make any difference, is it? Going to be in the cutscene again? Yes, we are. You kind of get the gist of this, it's not very difficult. I am still going to leave my kind of gameplay in all five of them just because I said so. But you'll see, we're getting used to them anyway. And because we've got all the upgrades we require, it's not that difficult. So this one seems to be annoying because he's using the annoying moves. And he seems to be teleporting behind these walls. So we're going to cut to the next one, which will be in Shantytown. So in Shantytown, it's this one and it's covering a big area. And this one's only requiring two, so that's good to see. Seen again, we're actually right next to them. There we are. on fire. But the good thing is, it skips the cutscene with them. Go to hell. Well, no. okay, that won't work out better in my head. And we're going to cut to the final one, which is located yeah. in downtown. So this is the final one. Its difficulty is hard, obviously, because it's in the downtown area. And all the hard ones seem to spawn here. So how many have we got? Four. I mean, four seems done at first, but we both know it's not going to take very long. Gotta pick it up. We're not even focusing on killing enemies unless they're mandatory, just so we can make this video a lot shorter than it can be. Anyway, we've got two more. So there, that time it managed to distract us. And last but not least, the final one. Come on. Let's get on with it. There we 
There we go. Is that the best hell's got? Doing this will get us the challenge complete and also all five portals giving us access to the tower. And there we go, that's that completed. We've also got the convert marshalling ground done as well. And there was a new challenge in pop up, which is access the secret chamber, which we're going to get our last seven deadly weapon anyway. And as we see, challenge 77. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification to keep yourself updated. And if you could join my Facebook and Patreon, that'd be greatly appreciated also. Last but not least, see ya!